Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Scotland and Zimbabwe. And before you all start trolling me, please don't write hope you all are doing well in the comment section. I have Nikhil Bhai with me today to catch up on this preview. It's a knockout and all to play for. So, would love to hear your thoughts. Bilkul, yes. Thank you so much again for everyone for tuning in always. Happy to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Important game. Uh, Pressure will be on teams. Pe. Conditions, please, see after the first game, you'll have a better idea of who the deck and what is to be done so that you can make adjustments in your team accordingly. Yes, absolutely. And before we get to the conditions, the base team, keep in mind, last opportunity for you to make your best deposit on the depositors leaderboard because you're going to be able to use all of these funds across the game. And uh, also keep in mind that you can use this deposit cash across games ahead. So we will get to the pitch conditions first up. And yep, even in 2022, we live in camera problems, or rather, that is 2022 for you. Yeah, technical glitches have ensured within. Uh, I think he's just planning something better, maybe. But anyway, we'll get to the pitch conditions till my camera is fixed up. Yep, so I'm sharing uh, the ground dimensions here. This is for the game at Hobart. So, yes, Nikhil Bhai, over to you on your thoughts on this. Uh, I think there's some up to uh, Hobart man, conditions haven't been that great for chasing sites. So we talked about this in the past as well. That 170, 175 are enough uh, for you to defend. But again, you still have to do well if you get to bowl first. So I think the pass score remains the same. Uh, we've often made the mistake that we have teams to the bowler. You can't do it when you support Karai wickets in both innings and extra pace ya uh, jada jo different x factor job hote ho bowling mein wo agar aapke paas hai to second innings mein wo player aapka best perform kar raha hai aur fir wo alzari jo sabse sath player bhi chuna ho so i think ek balance team bana ke chalna chahiye better hai kyunki there is runs and wickets in both innings that are happening so aisa nahi hai ki you could only take top order and get away with it aapko middle order se bhi ek do achhe option lene padenge Yes, absolutely. And also keep in mind that we tend to load, front load a lot of first innings death bowlers. But like Nikhil Bhai is saying, maybe you want to keep that balance and take the guys based on form. Like maybe the only kind of differential choice you can make it, like we discussed in the first game, if you feel like the pitch is holding up, so you can take someone like McCoy, even though he hasn't taken a bunch of wickets, but otherwise still you don't have solid reasoning, would be difficult for you to slot in someone who's out of form because we've been seeing across all the first set of games that Joby form may the conditions are suiting them because they've adapted better. Yep. And Abhitak, I think they'll still do well because they're playing at the same venue. But once the Super 12s also start adapting, will become a challenge because not many teams have, have been playing at all venues. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we'll look at our base team now for this specific game. So, like you can see, here we are on the fan to play app. And like I was mentioning, the leaderboard is going to start soon. This is going to start from the New Zealand game. So, load up because this is the final game before the leaderboard hits you. So, Scotland versus Zimbabwe. This is our base team in the keeping section. We have gone with Matthew Cross and then two batters, Richie Barrington and Ryan Ball. Now, Nikhil Bhai, what do you feel about Chakabwa's chances? Do you feel like Pace will do him off again? Or do you feel like he can give a decent start? Because Cross will might also have threat against someone like Sean Williams. Yes, I think as I said, usually in this tournament, we have seen that new balls are going to win. So I feel if there are new ball wickets, it's very difficult to then back the openers who hmm. anyways haven't been in their best forms. Uh, Monse had one great not great, one big knock which wasn't quite at his best where he wasn't fluid. But he could always threaten to do that. 
तो अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं इट इज टू बिग अ रिस्क टू टेक तो मे बी यू कैन टेक हिम वाइल चेजिंग बिकॉज देन ही कैन प्रोबेबली एंकर बेटर बट अगेन वी नोन चेजिंग इज ऑल्सो हैज बीन दैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू तो वो पूरा फिफ्टी फिफ्टी कॉल है आपका आपको ओपनर्स बैक करने हमने नहीं बैक करे अब तक क्योंकि हम नए बॉल से विकेट एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं और गेम भी होती है मन से चकाबा प्लेयर स्लाइटली हायर इस गेम एज कम्पेयर टू समय का क्रॉस तो इसके लिए क्रॉस के साथ गए हैं ताकि आपको वो एडिशनल पॉइंट्स तो मिले ही पर ही कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट द बैट जस्ट अबिट मोर मे Yes, and the two batters are Ryan Burl and Barrington, who are again virtually not batters. They are more all-rounders who are also expected to bowl at points. Now, again, Ryan Burl leg spinner and Barrington medium pacer. But more importantly, again, if you look across the Zimbabwe batting, nobody as such who has stood out that I'm saying in the batting section because yeah. Raza Williams and the all-rounders. And as far as Scotland are concerned, like Nikhil Bhai highlighted, Manzi Jones all playing a high risk game. Manzi if he's batting first might anchor, but otherwise known to play more high risk. And hence we have back Barrington here. Now when we look at all rounders, we have gone with Leesk, Sharif, Sean Williams, and Raza as captain, vice captain respectively, because we expect both of them to be handy with the ball too in this game. Nikhil Bhai, anybody who anybody else who you feel you would be tempted to slot in from this section? Yeah, you do have an option of Wesley, but hmm. uh, again he plays very high risk cricket if you want to call it that. A lot more aggressive as compared to the others. Hmm. Sean also does play aggressive, but then it's more like a counter attack, and maybe you expect a bit more from Sean Williams, which is why we've given him the vice captaincy as well, because he definitely bowls. Now Wesley bowls a lot, but he hasn't so far. So this is why we have not done Wesley pick up until now, and अगर आपको लगता है कि माइकल लीस बोलिंग शायद ना करें और विकेट ना ले बट अब तक हमने देखा है कि मैचअप अगर क्वालिटी है तो द गाइज आर ओवर का ओवर पावर इन द मैचअप है सिकंदर एज अ टेक आउट टू आउट टू लेफ्ट टू राइट हैंडर्स शॉन विलियम्स इज निकलस पोर तो द मैचअप देन इज नॉट वर्किंग इट्स जस्ट द क्वालिटी दैट इज कमिंग थ्रू तो देन दिस इज वाई आपको वो कॉल लेना कि सैन शरीफ चाहिए या आपको क्रिस ग्रीव्स लेना है उन्होंने गोली कम करी है शरीफ ने ज्यादा करी है इसलिए हमने शरीफ को लिया है और माइकल लिस्क भी स्टिल फील के राइटिंग को भी ट्रबल कर सकता है बिकॉज पिच इज बैटिंग इंपॉर्टेंट पोजिशन बिल्कुल तो थोड़ा आप डाइसी आप कहोगे कि आपको नहीं जाना इन दोनों के साथ यू कैन बी फ्री टू टेक अनदर ऑप्शन Yes, and Sharif also generally bowling two overs in the power play, two overs yeah. in the death. So there's not really much in the middle from him, which means he's going to bowl at wicket taking opportunities. Then in the bowlers, we have gone Bradley Veal, Mark Watt, and Grava, and Blessing Musrabani, who we feel like even in small leagues can be good vice captaincy material for you. Again, we have a lot of options here in the form of Josh Davey, Chatara, Youngway, but we have gone based on form and based on guys who are getting full and proper opportunity in the game. Absolutely, like they have said. Look, Chatara is also putting power play and at end is also putting. But is he as consistent as an Engarwa or a Blessing Muzarbani? Maybe not. You have Luke Youngway as well. He is batting very well, but in the last match, he has also been bowling very well. बट तो वो एक इशू जैसा हमने कहा यूसेज के साथ आप जाओ हम यूसेज के साथ जा रहे ब्रैड बील रिचर्ड मार्क वॉर ब्लेसिंग दे ऑल शुड बोल फोर ओवर्स ऑल फोर ऑफ देम एंड द सेम इज व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट विद माय कलीग्स इन चैन सेल्फ एज वेल व्हिच इज व्हाई वी आर क्लेमिंग देम अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं यू वांट चटारा यू वांट टू गो लुक जोंगवे सॉरी सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो अहेड एंड पिक देम एज वेल एंड जॉर्ज डेवी आल्सो प्लीज जॉर्ज डेवी इज आल्सो की बट वैसे भी पर ये साल स्पाइस का नहीं रहा है ये साल रहा है नॉर्मल घर का दाल चावल खाने वाला बट आई स्टिल से कैलम मेटलॉय कुल बी अ वेरी वेरी गुड डिफरेंशियल ऑप्शन आई डोंट थिंक मेनी पीपल आर गोइंग टू टेक हिम आई डोंट एक्सपेक्ट जोंग्स मुनसे एंड एवरीबॉडी टू बैट ऑल वे लाइक 10 15 ओवर्स मेटलॉय इज अ वेरी गुड बैटर एंड इफ जिम्बाब्वे कम हार्ड आई थिंक मेटलॉय कैन प्ले अ बेटर 
right fair call and my pick might not be low on select percent but it's surely a low captaincy choice mark watt if he's bowling second i'm backing two left arm spinners to come good on the last day yes so akil and mark okay, watt yeah yeah grandly galat galat edit karo edit karo but yeah that is captaincy differential material so i'm going to back him and i have something interesting to share with all of you before we sum up this preview this is going to start From tomorrow, not this game. So, abhi niche comment karke ye mat bolna ki mere comment ko prize nahi mila. But if you want to go warm up, warm up right now in the comment section because from 22nd we are going to have this every day for you. A fan to play jersey for the person who predicts the highest pointer of the game, fastest and first. So go warm up for that right now, and then yeah. we'll start this from tomorrow. Of course, no multiple and edited comments allowed. I think that's just very obvious. Yes. बट ये आई थिंक गुड चांस टू अर्न समथिंग एंड याद रखना आपके लाइक टीम को अच्छा बनाते लग भी रहते हैं तो प्लीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियोस बिकॉज़ दैट्स इंपोर्टेंट यस एब्सोल्युटली एंड वी होप दैट यू एंजॉय द लास्ट डे ऑफ द स्टेज ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट सो एंजॉय हैव अ ग्रेट डे एंड हैव अ ग्रेट गेम ऑल द विनिंग स्ट्रेट टू यू चियर्स हैव अ गुड गेम गाइस